Welcome back. Welcome back. Come on in. Sit down. Let's get this started. This is a special film session. Uh, people have been asking me for a couple of weeks now. Can we take a look at old Dak Prescott versus new Dak Prescott mechanically? Sure, we can do that, but I can't do that in, you know, two days notice or whatever. So I took two weeks. I gathered some clips. I took some notes. And, um, you know, let's uh, let's uh, break down Dak Prescott mechanically. What's the big differences? And, um, if you're going to look at mechanics, there are two things that we're really looking at. We're looking at his feet and we're looking at throwing motion, right? So it's going to be brand new Dak Prescott. And I, I really got all of my clips from the Lions game because that's really all I needed versus 2017 Dak. So let's run this for the cardio. One thing you notice about Dak Prescott immediately from last week, um, look at his feet, man. Active feet. You got to have active feet. You don't want them to be stuck in the mud. Write that down. That will be on the test. Stuck in the mud where his feet just, just aren't moving very much. So in order for Dak Prescott to throw the ball with his right arm, he needs to bring his right hip so he can have a little more velocity. And in order to do that, he needs to drag this right foot uh, so he can follow along and bring his hips with him. That hips don't lie that he was doing all on the all on the end instagram and all on the twitter machine that's why he he does hip flexors so he can bring his hips along with him so he can have velocity on the football let's give you an example of that right take a look at this play with this nasty look look at how slow Dak moving first of all <laughs> look at look at how slow Dak is moving first of all man look at his feet man they're just kind of going to get stuck on the ground man and he's really going to have to make this throw with all arm right and with him making the throw with all arm, let's take a look at his throwing motion. Then we'll go back to the last play. Dak's throwing motion right here. You know, in, in 2017, Dak really had like five throwing motions. He didn't really have a set one that he was uh, that he was really he was really attached to. But one thing that we don't want is we don't want your elbow to be in front of the football, right? I I I don't care what quarterback you are when your elbows in front of the football the ball comes out a little slower you know what i mean and you could just take a look at how the ball travels here right um the throwing motion was longer Dak really didn't bring his hips right here it's just a real pedestrian looking football and Dak really didn't step into it like i would like for him to right but if you take a look at this play here take a look at his back foot right ah he really followed through with that he really brought his hip mm. uh he really let's take a look at his throwing motion right the ball is always going to be in front of his elbow always going to be in front of his elbow and with that the ball gets out quicker and when the ball gets out quicker that's one less step that a db has to make a play on you uh let's take a look at another example matter of fact let's not look at another example let's take that same play that we looked at in 2017 and let's compare it to a play action play that happened last week right everybody let's just watch this play i ain't i ain't really got to break it down really right let's just watch the play and we're gonna nah, the ball's gonna flutter that sucks it was out of bound it was trash right take a look at how much different Dak looks on this play right same exact play kind of sort of almost right you see how much how you, you see how different that is you see, see see how different that is first of all look at how fast Dak goes through the the um play action motion right gets in out why am i doing that because i need to get my eyes around so i can see the damn coverage can i go back to this hell yeah let's <laughs> look at how long it took for Dak to get his head around da, 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 da. i'm still not looking back i'm still not looking back then even after i fake my little play action there now i'm gonna try to find the field right bro look at how much faster Dak is pulling this off fantastic rain dakota now look at the feet the feet are important he is not stuck in the mud if you get lazy you know what i mean like if like even if it's only one play per game like that one play could be a could be a drive killer and one drive killer could be seven points you know um what about the throwing motion is the ball in front of his elbow always the ball is always in front of his elbow quick release ah there you go young zeke get your little yak on the back end so how about this we got dak prescott throwing the ball on the run and it's imperative when you're throwing the ball on the run you got to get your shoulder square why okay i want you to go outside in your backyard play catch with somebody i want both of y'all facing each other but when it's time for you to throw the ball i want you to turn to the left and then try to throw to that person without turning your shoulders back to him it's just not it's not bodily economical Huh, write that down. Hashtag that everybody. Put that in your notes. <laughs> That'll be on the test too. It's not it's not economical to your body, man. It's 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 very uncomfortable, right? Take a look at Rain Dakota Prescott right here. 
boom we're gonna roll out and you see Dak never really gets his gets his shoulder square to the target right he's more to the sideline here his target is down the field here but you know he may turn like last minute to get his shoulder square but it's not enough it was it was very last minute he didn't get a get a proper you know a proper set foot on it and he didn't get the shoulders all the way so what we got was a was a um was a bad throw take a look at what Dak does now and I love this. Dak ensures that he gets his shoulders turned because his shoulders are turned from the jump. Look at Dak. <laughs> Even after he boom, 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 fakes the play action, his shoulders are turned to his target already. Because, you know, when they're turned already, he ain't got to turn them. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, right? Same concept. So if we look at Dak and how he's running, Let's go back here. If we look at Dak and how he's running, he's running to the sideline here, right? It's like he, and like I said, he's squared to the sideline. So it looks like he's running directly there. Dak is more so shuffling here, right? You see how he's putting his right foot over his left foot right there? Cause it's kind of like a shuffle because he's already getting square and he's already preparing himself to um, throw the football there. Plus when he, when he, when he gets to do that, he can throw with a little bit more anticipation. I just wanted to show another example because my OCD be kicking in sometimes. Let's take a look at Rain Dakota Prescott under pressure, a little bit under the rest. Now, this is not a play action. The last the last play was, right? He's just kind of going to get squared to Jason Witten after he runs into a little bit of pass rush trouble, right? But the concept is the same, right? He's going to snap the ball, boom, boom, boom. But then he's going to run into a little bit of trouble coming from this way, right? But he's going to find Jason Witten, and you see him squaring those shoulders up. He feels the pressure, not really looking at the pressure, but he feels it and right when he's ready to throw to Jason Witten, you see him turn the square right there just to get rid of it. and it was it's, it's a real good view uh from the wide uh from the wide film it's not as clear as the cartel view but the um the wide view does a really good example of seeing Dak move towards the left and then turning square right there turning square right there and just getting that thing out to Jason Witten. it's just another example I wanted to show you so we're going to talk about this one more time then we're going to move on to another set of mechanics because I swear this just this just jumped out to me and I couldn't do nothing about it take a look at Dak Prescott's uh right foot and his throwing motion let me just rewind this to the beginning his 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 right foot <laughs> and we're going to look at his throwing motion look at how ugly that right foot is it makes me sick ugh <laughs> look at look at how he turned ah Look at that throw motion with the elbow way out front. <laughs> Wait a minute. But look at this, though. Look at your boy Ray Dakota. Last time, I promise. Just so much improvement here. That Look, this right foot never gets planted in the ground. It, it never stays in the ground. Look at that. Look at that. Shit. What about the, what about the throw? What about throwing motion? Fantastic. Quick as a whip. What about the right hip? Following through. Good to go. Let's move on. Let's take a look at this. I want everybody to look at Dak Prescott's eyes right now. This ain't really, really a mechanic, but it is a quarterback tool that I'm glad is on Dak's belt right now. Uh, take a look at Dak's eyes right now as he finds his target downfield. Boy, Dak used to get people killed like that. Dak used to get people big hit over the middle. Dak used to throw a lot of interceptions, just staring people down and just letting DBs know exactly where he's going, whether it be play action or not. Look at all these, all these red jerseys over there. We'll take a look at this though this is what rain did last week versus the uh the lions here first of all take a look at randall cobb first of all because randall cobb deserves all the flowers in the world for this play right here take a look at randall cobb and how he ran this route he's going to get upfield boom 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 ah uh! <laughs> boy that's better than a bacon tomato sandwich boy i tell you what uh cobb is going to explode up and inside Ba, 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 up and inside right just to get back upfield then watch him lean right watch him lean into the defender to get a little more leverage right there just to ah, cut that thing back inside that's fantastic um but let's take a look at Dak's eyes though right we're talking about eyes for a second let's just follow rain dakota's helmet so we can see what he's looking at He's looking, he's looking. He's going to keep his eyes over there. He knows that Cobb is about to break inside. He knows that the ball needs to be in this vicinity. But look at Dak's eyes right now, right? Dak is going to keep that hard look over that way. He's going to move those safeties. And look, to be fair, if we take a look at 32, to be fair, I think he's reading Dak, and I think he's moving in that direction just based off eyes. And if Cobb's going to be right there, we kind of do need 32 to be out the way. Fan fantastic and um even with uh with uh Dak looking away he's going to deliver that pass perfectly oh my goodness man look at when the ball leaves his hands he's still looking away 
he's still looking over there. Ah. That's your quarterback, ladies and gentlemen. He's an MVP candidate. I said it a couple weeks ago. I ain't going to cuss nobody out. I'm not going to be told you so, guy. I just want to simply put people on notice on the improvement that he's making, on how fantastic he is playing. And, um, hey, man, it's, it's about time that we roll up on the pages, put hands on them, and smack the hell out of them. You know what I mean? Um, like this video. Hit the notification bell. This is one of the videos I really need to be out. You know, all the other videos cool, but can we get this shared around? Can we put this in all the forums and all that and tell all your friends about it, put it on the Twitter machine or whatnot? And, um, you know, follow me on Twitter, by the way, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D. I hit the subscribe button so I can get those milestones. I appreciate y'all. Y'all hold it down for the Doski woski Till next time, until the post-game show where we beating the hell out the Patriots, all right? Salute. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. But you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial that's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it then come back and make a purchase because if you have any questions go to channelsforcheap.com hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately that is channels number four cheap.com the link is in the description i highly recommend it let's do it the YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.